Eli Whitney made the cotton king. Cotton fibers are made in seed pods, also called balls, of the cotton plant where fibers, also called lint, are tightly interwoven with seeds. They first need the seeds and the fibers must be separated. To do this takes days of hard labor. There are many other simple seed removing machines, but before the cotton king was invented, the seed removers only worked in small scale. It was invented in the United States of America, 1793. He died in 1825 before he could see this machine change for the worst. One of these problems was slavery. It did reduce the amount of labor, but still, slaves were in the field picking the cotton from the cotton plants. The cotton gin did not give him much money like he would have hoped, but it did bring him fame. Eli died of cancer in 1825. He went to Yale. In 1765, he studied applied arts technology at Yale before inventing the cotton gin. His father was a very respected farmer. He was born on December 8, 1765, Westbrook, Massachusetts, the United States. In the, mid in the middle of the 19th century, this, his machine made the cotton a leading export of America. He also invented irrigable parts for the cotton gin. For his work, he is acknowledged as a pioneer of American manufacturing. When he was a kid, he made himself a violin and a nail forge. I think the cotton gin is a great invention because it makes the process of making clothes easier and more efficient. A cotton gin is a very helpful machine because it can do a matter of seconds, what would take a man approximately a day. Eli changed the way factories do stuff today with just two inventions. He started a job at a tobacco company, and that went downhill, and the company changed to cotton. He saw how people worked hard and long on this. Then he made the cotton gin. He changed the way we make clothes today. That's why I think the cotton gin is the best.